The tomato paste, not surprisingly, is the base ingredient. It arrives at the plant in huge bins, which have been vacuum packed to preserve freshness. After unsealing each bin, the factory's quality control technician scoops a sample for testing. This is to make sure that the thickness is just right. If the sample gets the okay, workers slide the bin under a powerful air-driven pump. Then they flip a switch, and the pump begins moving the tomato paste to a large holding tank, transferring nearly 310 pounds of this ketchup base in less than 10 minutes. At production time, an intricate system of piping transfers a specific amount of tomato paste from the holding tank into a cooking kettle. As the paste cooks, a mixer continuously revolves to keep it from sticking to the sides and to blend in the onion powder workers add next. This and the upcoming ingredients have been pre-measured to be in correct proportion to the batch size. The next ingredients are salt. Then, as a sugar replacement, nectar from the agave plant. They pour in an initial amount, mix a bit, then pump in the remainder. The last ingredient is white vinegar. For competitive reasons, the company won't divulge the mixing time, cooking time, or cooking temperature all of which are key elements of this top secret recipe. On the packaging line, an alignment machine stands the plastic bottles upright as they make their way to the filling machine. The finished ketchup, meanwhile, is passing through an elaborate system of cooling pipes en route to the filler. And let the bottling begin. The machine fills eight bottles at a time, 150 bottles per minute. 